Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. Here, it's Monday, we're in Lower Manhattan, but we're also covering the General Assembly. But we're covering the courts first. And in the courts, over the weekend, Mr. Samuel Bankman-Fried, he's asked to ask jurors when his trial begins, the FTX flame out, he's asked to ask jurors about effective of altruism, which I'm sure is more than what we've heard about it from him, but what it's pretty damning what we've heard about from him. This idea that you would rip off people and then supposedly be helping all the world, that's what he wants to ask the jurors about. And the U.S. has opposed it. I'm dubious of the U.S. too because they've dropped the campaign finance charges against him. But we'll be covering that. Uh, Trump this week, he managed to get a stay last week from a single judge of the First Department. But on Friday, uh, the New York State trial level judge will have a hearing and it's possible uh, that he'll wrap that up and the state will be removed. We'll have to see. We'll be covering that on Friday. Uh, but throughout the week, we will be covering the General Assembly. More on that in a moment. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the U.N. General Assembly has come to town. Well, Joe Biden arrived on Sunday night, and people wondered why, if his speech is done until Tuesday. Well, they found out there's going to be a couple of fundraisers. That's how it works here in New York. That's, that explains it. Other P5 members are not coming. President Xi, he's not coming. Putin, of course he's not coming. Macron, not coming. Now, Saturday, we went up to uh, a protest by Burmese. There were... They were rallying. They were telling the UN, please recognize our ambassador. A murder plot against whom was prosecuted right behind me in the SDNY. That's also the MCC where Jeffrey Epstein died. Or, and, and the Burmese, they want the credential of their ambassador, but China's on the committee. It's definitely not going to happen. As with almost everything this week, not just there's more sizzle than steak. You're not going to hear reporting of just what a fraudulent organization this has become. What did they do about Ukraine? Ask yourself. Absolutely nothing. And so here, under a tree across from one PP, that's one police plaza, the amount of manpower spent bringing, many of whom are dictators, Gabon's going to speak, there's another dictator staying down here in the, in the Beekman Hotel, you can check it out. Inner City Press is banned from entering the UN by Melissa Fleming, who's virtue signaling online about how she was riding a bicycle, and uh, you know, much condolences, but it's six months to answer her mail of an application and a letter from a pro bono law firm. Inner City Press will be reporting, watch this space.